Good morning YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, please like, subscribe, uh, day f well, I think I was day 4 on uh, my channel, uh, Handyman Judy's, um, today we're at a uh, referral from a neighbour's friend, she requests uh, my assistance in changing a handrail, uh, it's just wood rot again with all this rain that we've had. Um, so I've had a chat to the client over the phone and she sent some photos. Um, the first thing she actually asked me was, uh, do I have public liability insurance? Um, it is something that I do have, obviously. I have to do it the legit way by ticking all the right boxes. Um, the reason she asked for that straight away was because she lives in a caravan park and part of the restrictions is no work is to be done on site without the proper um, paperwork so yeah anyway I'm here now um, I'll update you as I go during the day I'm just changing a um, oh, as well as doing the handrail I'm doing uh, cleaning out her gutters and uh, going gurneying her um, driveway and decking so I am maybe a three maybe four hour job um, it's pretty straightforward I think I might even chuck in maybe 50 bucks on wear and tear on the tools so we're looking at maybe 200 250 to 250 bucks um so we'll see how we go so this is the hand rail um as you can see it's pretty withered I'll put it off in my hand As you can see guys, I cut out a new piece of railing I got from Bunnings. Uh, what I'm going to do, I've cut this out to fix it onto the actual structural post and then I'll pin this onto the backing, I guess a back plate, so it's, it's got something firm to grip onto. So I'll let the client know that these have rusted out, these clips. Gutter in place, and it's just pretty much just hanging there now, unfortunately. Time to swap out the boots for the gum boots. Pressure washer time. And this is what needs to be done. I might just go need a deck for her as well, but she just wanted the uh, concrete pavers done, and should probably take me half an hour. It would have been nice if all of this grass would have been gone, but we'll see how good the pressure washer is. So that's mainly done. Um, I thought I'd show you guys the before and after. The um, my Kasha K5, I believe, was the um, most powerful non-petrol powered one at the time of purchase and um, I've got no regrets of buying it at all. Um, I used it for my own house and now I'm using it on um, other residential houses and it's, it's making me money so go out and get you one and just post it online and see if you've got any people who want to actually hire it. So there you go, I've done that. It's structurally sound now, she ain't going nowhere. She's Nice and strong, she ain't going nowhere. So there you go folks, uh, day four. I've been doing little odds and bobs jobs, just haven't recorded them really. Um, but that is day four wrapped. Um, only did another five hours, so cha-ching. Um, get to go home, get to spend time with my little boy and my wife, so. Happy days.